Hey y'all, out here at uh, Griffey's uh, High Rods and Restorations to uh, shoot a few cars here this morning. And the first one I'm shooting is a uh, 55 uh, Chevrolet 3100 pickup truck. It's not so much a hot rod or a street rod, but it, it's all original. And uh, there's a story behind it, and I doubt that you'll find one nicer. Now, I'm not saying you can't find ones as nice, because you never know what's out there. But I don't think you're going to find one as uh, that's any nicer than this one. I'm excited to bring it to you. So let me run Larry down, and uh, we'll take a look at this one. Larry, how are you, brother? Doing great, Scotty. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing just fine. Good. Tell me a little bit about this uh, pickup truck. Well, this is a 1955 second edition Chevrolet pickup. Um, six cylinder, straight shift. It was a very basic vehicle. Um, chrome bumpers, you know, it had some of the fluff on it from the factory. Uh, beauty rings, wide whites. Uh, the gentleman we restored it for, we did a ground up restoration on it, a uh, complete frame up, uh, all underneath it, replaced all the sheet metal panels and, and that needed repair and replace, and, and just did a complete boat and nut restoration, put it on rotisserie and the whole, whole deal. Um, the gentleman that had it done, uh, it was a, a family possession that his grandfather had had, and, um, and then passed along to his brother, and unfortunately uh, his, his brother... Uh, got killed and uh, so he wanted to preserve the truck and keep it in the family and and put it back like new and so we've we've done that and probably went a little little nicer than it was when it was new but uh, i'm guessing but it. we tried to keep everything authentic on it as far as uh wiring colors and the way everything runs and you know it, it's a restoration actually we're taking this uh, vehicle up to lexington this this weekend for the uh keeneland concours that's being held at keeneland racetrack this week all right and, cool uh, so it's going to be in the truck class up there to compete, and, and it's won some stuff before at Hilton Head and various different places, Concord. So it's a it's a unique vehicle. Yeah. So you you have to do a lot of research to make sure that this thing's put back exactly the way it came. Yeah, we tried to go through a lot of different uh, things. That's what you get into more with the restorations, and you do the street rods and the, and the muscle cars and things that we build. Those type of vehicles, you you have a free hand there to be creative and do it however you want to do it and however the customer wants you to do it. Whereas when you're doing a restoration, if you're going to show it and judge it and you're trying to get, you know, the right numbers on the hoses and the right number of parts on it and date coated parts and, and, you know, make sure that it was painted this way. If this steering column was done this way at the factory, you put it back that way. You didn't just say, well, I think I want to paint it black. Well, that wasn't maybe the way it came. In this case, it, you know, the steering wheel and the column came gray and the steering wheel was black and part of the interior was gray and part of it was white and and then the truck was the red and white gypsy red which is original for the truck and, and the uh, india ivory now is it is it possible to get one too nice for something like that um if you went through and slicked the frame like we do on the street rods and painted it slick shiny and sanded and rubbed it out they would probably gig you for that and take points off as far as the paint and restoration, it's pretty much given anymore in, in the Concord level of show. They don't gig you for the paint being too nice. They will uh, knock points off or gig you if they see orange peel that's obvious where it shouldn't be, even though that truck would have come with enamel on it and it would have been orange peely. Right. But unfortunately, our standards of what we accept as show quality has gotten much greater than it was originally. So. There are some people, uh, Chrysler's as an example, Dodges, uh, your muscle car people in, the, in like in your 60s and 70s and, and so forth, Mopars, they're pretty particular about the paint finish being back and left with a certain amount of orange peel. But uh, the Concours and the, and the Super Chevy events and the classic Chevrolet Club and all, you know, they expect that paint to be sanded and buffed and rubbed out like a piece of glass. And as far as over restoring, you know, we, we did, as I'll show you on this one here with the hood, underneath uh, the fender aprons, we didn't paint them shiny like the car. We painted them semi-gloss black like they came from the factory. Uh, so, yes, you could if you were going to show it original and you painted all these fender aprons like we would have probably done on a street rod, the collar of the car, right. yes, they would have, they would have, uh, it off I got you. You can't. You, you you don't want to change nothing. But no. there's not a like you were talking. I was thinking orange peel. I mean, they didn't have the products back in '55 we have now. No. So no. All the paint on every car at, at, at basically every car, unless it's in an original class, and they do have some original classes unrestored. Right. 
Now in that class, yeah, they know, you know, here's a car that's got paint on it from 1955. In most cases, it's faded and rubbed out and rubbed down, but, uh, you know, we tried to duplicate everything on this back as close as we could, as close as we could research and find, correct bolt heads on the things, um, correct wiring harness, and this battery cable being red is correct. Um, and then this negative cable over here is that's uh, that is absolutely a woven correct. Yeah. type. Wow, that's exactly it almost correct. looks dangerous, doesn't it? But that's ground, see nothing, yeah. so it doesn't. No, those those all your early model vehicles had that type of ground strap on them. And that's a, I guess that's a repo battery, but it's the same kind of battery. It is. Have had, yeah, that's correct. It's a Delco original style battery. Uh, these vehicles were 12 volt uh, in the second edition 55s. They were 12 volt. Is it still 12 volt? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I guess that's what everything is. It would have been, what, 6 volt before that, right? Yes, before yeah. that would have been 6 volt, and some stuff in the 54, 55 range is still 6 volt, but this particular vehicle was a 12 volt vehicle. It uses the generator as opposed to your new vehicles running an alternator. So it still has a generator. It still has a generator, all original, still has your voltage regulator. And all of this locations, where this goes, how these wires are run, we had an assembly manual, an original 55 Chevrolet pickup truck assembly manual that shows you where everything ran and how it ran and what clip held it and which hole it went in and everything about it. Did they give used. you part numbers and everything? It's some some part numbers. Yeah. But it gives you a diagram and tells you that, you know, in other words, it was what they were using to do the assembly on them at the factory. I got you. We've got the assembly manual. so. We were able to, you know, put everything back, like knowing these heater hoses went in this here, this clip went in this hole right here, you know, right. that's all where it went. Right. This is where the uh, heater control valve went through. Um, and those are the same kind of couplings they would have used in everything back mm -hmm. there? That's correct. Wow. Those are, those are. Uh, if you notice, they're not screw type clamps. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, that was just, that's, that's what type of clamp was used in this, in this area of time. Now, is there a company out there that makes these type of parts? Yes, or? there is. Yeah. Um, yeah, there, there sure is. There's two or three companies out that reproduce a lot of this. Um, most all these different cars, there'll be companies that specialize in different different things for it. LMC truck is one that does a lot for this model of trucks, particularly Chevrolets and GMCs. And there are Gold Coast uh, restorations that, that has that. Uh, they do a lot of parts. There's several companies that produce. We've bought an awful lot of stuff for this truck from LMC. Okay. Yeah, I was just at a, the Super Chevy show. I think they they right. sponsored that up there. Mm -hmm. Wow. But that's correct size tires, correct size wheels. Uh, and those beauty rings, you say that was part of the dress-up kit on this yeah, thing? Yeah, you could, you could order the beauty rings. That was an option on the trucks. And um, Now, is that all chrome or is that reflecting an orange bead in the middle of it? No, it's, it's all right. chrome. Yeah, see, it's it's almost, actually stainless. Yeah, what it is. okay. The beauty ring is stainless and the hubcaps are chromed. I got gotcha. you. Wow. And, uh, but everything that we put on it were options that were available. Whether this truck actually had chrome bumpers on it when it came from the factory, right? We can't don't know because you can't trace the trucks back with a build sheet. We I haven't gotcha. been able to determine that. But we put options that were all available. Chrome bumpers were available. Beauty rings were available. Um, Open that door for me if you don't mind. Sure. Stand back here, man alive. And we did the complete restoration here in uh, in this shop uh, from the frame. Uh, we did not do the internal engine work. Uh, we did put the engine in, uh, assemble it, carburation and transmission together, all the mechanicals, brakes, drive shafts, etc. And we did all the body work, paint work, and assembly and everything here. What transmission does it have in it? It has a three-speed Chevrolet, uh, same transmission that was used actually from about 54 up to probably 60 trucks. I can't ever imagine this truck ever would have come anywhere close to this nice though from the factory. I mean, that's just beautiful, Larry. Well, we hope that they appreciated it came on this weekend. We, we, you know, there'll be some nice vehicles there and, and all the vehicles will be nice. And this is the quality that you have to do to win those type of shows. Well, and like I said, you know, I mean, I've been around this, uh, doing this for a long time, so you can't say anything's the nicest because you just never know. But that's I don't right. see you can find one that's going to be nice or, you know. And you say, what color is that? It's gypsy red. It's 1955 Chevrolet color. It was used on cars, 
and on trucks. There was another red used on them, and I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head, but it was a little darker, more of a cherry red, not as orange. That was used on the pickup trucks, but this one was a uh, gypsy red. Those tail lights are awful sporty for a pickup truck, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, that's original though. Yeah. That's a little hub kit. Little no, hub I didn't even ask. I know I got the message. <laughs> Everything's original. And we were fortunate enough, if you notice the license plates, the owner, we uh, we researched and the owner was able to come up with a gentleman that had a set of original 55 Chevrolet Tennessee tags. And um, Did you redo those we too? Did, we redid those. Yeah, and, that's uh, beautiful. Pinstriped them and, you know, lettered them all on there. And, we refinished all the plates. And then that, that would have had a wood deck in that. Yes, it would have. And they were available with either black or stainless. And uh, we put it with the stainless strips between it. Right. Stainless bolts in it, again, for preservation. Used the stainless bolts here. Now, could have uh, those bolts been black, too? They could have been. Okay. You know, it's like anything. A lot of trucks were bought strictly as a farm truck, as right. a work truck, you know. So it, it had no frills. Right. But they did offer some options, and you could get them frilled up. One thing that was available that this truck does not have, they made a big window, what was called a 55 Chevrolet big window pickup. And the big window pickup, the wind, this glass come around to about right here. Oh, okay. And actually, it came down here a little bigger. It's more like that right there. Okay. It's called a big window 55 pickup. But those are pretty rare. There were some of them made out there, but right. uh, but this uh, this one was not a big one to pick up. Well, and I would say that they made a lot of these trucks, but there's probably not a lot of them left because, like you said, they just got used. That's yeah, right. You know. Yeah, and, and this truck was uh, this this was not a this this hadn't been garaged for forty years and kept in perfect condition. It, it was it, rough when you got yeah, it. Yeah, it was a little rough. We. Actually, you tried, you tried to talk the guy out of redoing it, didn't you? Yes, I actually did, I, uh, until he told me the story of the family and his brother, you know. Right. Uh, it, it belongs to a gentleman here in Knoxville uh, named Randy Lay. And, um, and Randy, uh, Randy wanted to preserve it and preserve the heritage of his brother and keep it in the family. And, but, uh, yeah, I did try to discourage him to some degree. I try to be truthful with people. And, right. The value of these things sometimes it takes, you know, a lot more to do a lot of them than they're worth. But sometimes you can put, you know, two or three times what one's worth. In, sure. You know, and, and I always try to be truthful with the person. You know, in other words, you could probably get on the internet and find you a nice '55 Chevrolet pickup for half what you'll have in this one. If, right. You know, this one needs a lot of work, and just because that it'll only sell for that doesn't mean that you can restore it for that well have yeah. someone restore it. right well but this and one's he said, priceless I understand yeah that. he said I, i'm fully aware of that uh, but he said i want this truck yeah so we did it uh the way he wanted it done man and, and you, fortunately i feel like he was pretty happy and pleased he's he's been a good friend ever since we did the restoration and fortunately we've had the opportunity to do a 57 chevrolet convertible fuel injected convertible for his father now so uh which I think we're going to shoot later. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to that because that car is beautiful too. Yeah, I guess that's the key, right? I mean, once you do one, if they keep coming back and they still talk to you, you must have done something right. It's the ones that pick up their car and you never hear from them again. You wonder, what I do to make him mad? Man, that is just beautiful. Can we hear it start? No frills there, folks, but I figure we might as well hear it run. Sounds like it's got a little cam in it. It's got a little bit of a lope to it. Yeah. What a beautiful truck. Get a complete walk around on this thing. Can you shut the hood for me? Sure. Yeah. Like the 
don't want to shut on this. Yeah, if you don't mind, you can turn it off too if you want to. And then you could get those white wall, those wide white walls on it too. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Five white walls in the I guess it was no different than now. You know what I'm saying? You can buy a fifty thousand dollar pickup truck, or you can buy a twenty thousand dollar pickup truck. That's right. So in I this mean, case you could probably buy a fourteen hundred fifty dollar pickup, or you could buy a twenty one hundred dollar pickup. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably about the difference. For probably fifteen, sixteen, fifty five. It would have probably been. Ah, uh, probably 1900 2100 for the pickup, something like that. I haven't checked them, but... My dad bought a brand new... Now, did his grandpa buy this truck new, or... No, he, he did not. He bought it used? Yeah, he bought it used. That had it... Oh, 20-some years, 25 years or so, but no, it, it, they did not buy it new. Like I said, folks, not a street ride, not a hot ride, but just a nice all original 55 pickup truck. And uh, I, when I saw it, I just, you know, in the story behind it, but even if there wasn't a story like that behind it, I would still, uh, I'd still want to shoot one in this condition. I mean, where you, you just don't get to see them like this very often. So, Larry, as always, you know, I appreciate you letting me come out here and shoot these beautiful cars of yours. Well, thank you. Thank you. We're just lucky that we have the opportunity to do them for the customers, and they're let us show them off for you. Right. No, I'm glad they do too. So I hope they're proud of what we put together. Anyways, folks, there you go. There is a, a 55 3100 pickup truck from Griffey's Hot Rods and Restorations. Hope you all have enjoyed it. Have a good day. See ya.